Hello, my wonderful, wonderful friends. Welcome to the wonderful world of Chinese characters. I am NTS. For the last three episodes, I told you about three of the four main categories of Chinese characters, which are pictographic, explanatory, and associative compound. Today, I'm going to tell you about the fourth category, pictophonetic. Although this category was the last of the four to develop, it came in handy when many new characters needed to be created. In modern Chinese, more than 90% of characters are pictophonetic. Some sources say 91, some say 92. Depends on how you count, but most people agree the number is definitely over 90%. The name pictophonetic may sound rather complex, but the idea is actually quite simple. Picto refers to pictographic, meaning the character directly represents a concrete object. This is one of the two elements of a pictophonetic character, the semantic element. Phonetic refers to the other element, the phonetic element, which shows the character's reading. This could be an exact representation, but often it's just a rough representation of the character's reading, as the tone, pronunciation, or both could all be slightly different, or sometimes rather drastically different. This is also related to how the Chinese sound inventory and tone system has changed constantly over thousands of years. So the phonetic element acts more as a reminder rather than an absolute representation of the character's reading. You've seen quite a few pictophonetic characters on our show, like Leng, Cold, Xing, Star, Tui, Leg, Hu, Lake, and many, many more. There are several different ways in which the elements of pictophonetic characters can be arranged. Let me show you some ones we have yet to talk about. Qian, Money. On the left is the gold or metal radical, and on the right is the phonetic element, Jian. Here's one with the phonetic element on the left and semantic element on the right, Fang, which means to put or to place. Semantic on top, phonetic on bottom, like jian, which originally meant the slips of bamboo that were used for writing in ancient times. The phonetic element can also appear on the outside of a character, the inside, the corner, and so on. And that's all for today. See you next time, friends.